Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating an accountant's copy of your company file, you must import your accountant's changes back into your company file later on to restore full functionality to your original company file. If your accountant sends you a file, open your company file and insert the copy of the changes your accountant gave to you on the removable media, like a DVD-ROM, CD-ROM, or flash drive, and then select File, Send Company File, Accountant's Copy, Import Accountant's Changes from File from the menu bar. You must make a backup before you can import the accountant's changes, so make a backup file when prompted to do so by QuickBooks. Then navigate to the folder or drive that contains the file with the changes and double-click the file to open it and import the changes. The accountant's changes pending message in the title bar of the company will then disappear. That means that you have successfully imported the changes. If you receive the changes from the Internet using the file transfer feature, you will receive an email from your accountant informing you that the changes to the accountant's copy are complete and that you have changes to import. At that point, you have 30 days to import the accountant's changes into your company file. To download these changes, open your company file. Then select File, Send Company File, Accountant's Copy, Import Accountant's Changes from Web from the menu bar. After the download is completed, you will see a listing of the accountant's changes appear within your company file. Note that the accountant's changes pending message has also disappeared from the title bar of the company file. In this lesson, we will examine how to pay bills from the client's trust account using the Pay Bills window. If you need to review paying bills, please read the lesson Paying Bills in Chapter 12 of the Introductory QuickBooks Manual. To start the process, select Vendors. Pay Bills from the menu bar within QuickBooks to open the Pay Bills window. Next, select the Client Trust Accounts Payable Account from the AP Account drop-down that appears at the top of the Pay Bills window when you have multiple accounts payable accounts enabled within a company file. This will filter the window to show only bills entered against the selected Client Trust AP Account. Next, you should ensure that you select the Client Trust Checking Account from the Account field within the Payment section of this window to ensure that the funds from the Client Trust account will be used to pay the selected client bills. You can then mark and pay the bills as normal. Note that you should remember to change the Payment Account and Accounts Payable Choices within the Pay Bills window when you go to pay the law firm's bills in the future. You will always need to check the choices made within these fields when paying bills to ensure that the correct funds are used to pay the correct bills. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.